I live in a reality where I, through very many dialogues, come up with a vision. The vision which is written on the wall and says, do me. The big genius Gandhi said something worth listening to. There is no way to peace. Peace is the way. It's the quality of that vision that matters. I happen to come from a medical family, so when I grew up as a child, the words I heard most frequently around the dining table, prognosis, diagnosis, therapy. Well, I have brought those words into peace studies. So I work on that. The disease is violence or the threat of violence, even in the shape of war. Now, the moment you will come up with a solution which is not sensitive to the differences between what you are ailing from, you know you are on the wrong track. There are those who think that there is a simple way to do it. You simply find out who is the violent one, who started this one way of doing it, or you find out who is the one you don't like, and then you mobilize your F-35s, your bombing squads, your B-52s. If you are told that we, uh, we, unfortunately we had to kill you, but it's in the name of democracy and it is to promote democracy, it may be people don't believe you. And why not? You see, there has to be a sort of compatibility between means and ends. You are not going to heal violence with more violence. I would say that if they could land on unsolved conflict and unconciled trauma, then they're equipped to do something. Where people would, so to speak, when there is a problem and violence is threatening, they would automatically ask a very simple question. What's the root cause? I would ask, what's good about you? And what's good about me? And how can we bring good and good together and cooperate for mutual and equal benefit? So when I mediate, you see, between parties who may be at war, and it has to do with the conflict with parties dead against each other with incompatible goals, and the vision should have the quality where each one of them can look at it and say, not exactly what I wanted, but I can live with it. He is a guiding light for social movements worldwide, a principled yet kind fighter and a true globalist. To quote one of his nominators, his critique is taken seriously even by those who always think they are right. I see vast areas in the world not cooperating exactly for mutual and equal benefit, but at least cooperating, being brought together and not having visions of invading or conquering each other. And I'll tell you one thing, the world is moving in that direction. Not exactly at the speed I would like to see, but it is moving. So, I hope, of course, to leave TM in 95 so that I can enjoy it fully. History throws long shadows, and I learned one thing. Nothing is forever. They know perfectly well that I may come up with visions. My reward consists in seeing it realized. That's my reward. <laughs>